Hi everyone, how are you? Hope everyone feeling well. In this video, I will explain how to determine deflection of simply supported beam with UDL using moment area method. In this problem, we need to define the slope at point B and the maximum deflection at beam. Okay, so first of all, we need to draw M over EI diagram. Based on this simply supported beam, so we know that it's symmetry, we can calculate maximum moment. Okay, M max is equal to equation WL square over A. So the flow is W is 500. And then L length is 8 divided by 8. We can find that 4,000 kilonewton meter. Okay. Next, we draw this the M over EI diagram. So, I draw first both of these. Y and x right so based on here is a udl now the, the diagram is parabolic okay so in here we know that is symmetry therefore of course you will having two point okay two area at the point of the maximum, I make it, this is a 1, area of 1, and this is area of 2. So, this one is 4,000 newton meter, kilometer meter. Then, we need to draw an elastic curve. Okay, so this is symmetry. I draw an elastic curve. Right. This is the elastic curve of the simply supported beam. Now, we define slope at point B. So, I draw first the tangent 1 of the B. I call it as a tangent B. Then, as we can see here, it's in a tree. Let's say I make it here at the center. is as a point C. So, I draw another tension is at between C and B. Therefore, this angle is theta B. From these two tension, we found that the slope at B here is equal to the area between B and C. This is indicated from the M over EI diagram is the area of A2. Right? We applying the theorem number 2. Sorry, the theorem number 1 for slope. Right? Theta B is equal to area number 2. Theorem number 1, M over EI dx. So, using the formula is 2BH over 3. So, this formula you can refer in the lecture notes for parabolic. So, we just substitute 2 and then B is a 4, half of 8. Okay, sorry, it's not 8, it's a 4. And then H is 4,000 divided by 3ER. So, it's equal to 1066.67ER. So, you have this theta B. Alright, the next one is find the maximum deflection. So, we want to find the maximum deflection here. It is symmetry. I draw. This will be your maximum deflection. 
at point C. Okay, so based on this, the, uh, these two tangent, we also know that the maximum deflection is equal to the moment of the area on M over EI diagram between C and B. Those the area is A2. Okay, by applying the children number 2. We can define the maximum deflection is okay, delta max equal to x bar a2. Okay, so x bar a b m over e i dx. So area of 2 is equal. The same equation as you define the slope. Okay, and then the x bar is 5b over 8. So, this formula you can define, refer at the lecture notes. Okay, for parabolic. So, just substitute. Okay, don't forget 1 over ei. Okay, you substitute. 2. B is 4, H is 4,000 and then divide by 3, then 5, B. So, is 4 divided by 8, you will have the value of 2666.67 over EI. So, the deflection is going down. Now, you already defined the slope at point B and also the maximum deflection for simply supported beam with UDL. Alright, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.